Hi everyone, it's Cassie, the Young Teen Librarian at East Hampton Library. Today for our virtual make and take craft, I'm going to show you how to make sea glass mason jars. So, as you can tell here, this is our sample of the sea glass mason jar. It's a just a regular mason jar, but it has like a slightly green, hazy tint to it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to make this. So for this, what you are going to need is, of course, glass mason jars. So I have three here. You are also going to need white Elmer's glue. You are going to need water. So I have a cup of water here. You are going to need liquid. You could either food coloring or liquid watercolor paints. I'm using liquid watercolor paints here. I have a color of violet, one of blue, and one of turquoise. The original crap, um, sample that I made, I used green. You will also need some sponge paint brushes and a measuring spoon. And I have a plastic spoon here. This is so that when I am using the, um, the measuring spoon to measure out the glue, I can scrape all the glue out of the measuring spoon. So, um, I'm going to set our sample aside and then I'm going to show you how to make the mason jars. So, or how to make the sea glass mason jars. So for this, the most simplest way, since I have one measuring sp uh, spoon, I am going to measure out the water first and then I'm for each jar and then I'm going to measure out the glue for each jar and then I will put in the watercolor paint. So for each one, what you will need will be one teaspoon of Elmer's glue, one and a half teaspoons of water, and then three drops of the liquid watercolor paints or food coloring if that's what you have on hand. So I'm going to do the water first. Since this is a one half teaspoon measure, measure I am going to I'm going to measure out it three times for each jar, since that will be one and a half teaspoons. One, two, three. It will kind of coat the bottom, if you can tell. It sort of gathers to one side. So that is three tables, three teaspoons, one and a half teaspoons of water for each jar. And then we're going to do a half, a one teaspoon of the Elmer's glue. So we're going to fill up this half teaspoon measure two times for each jar. And then for each jar, we will use our spoon to scrape any excess glue so that all the glue goes into each. Right, so then we're, we will place our utensils into the cup of water so that we don't get everywhere. So if you can tell, we kind of have a bit of like glue sitting in the middle. And, that. and then for each one, we're going to do three drops of color. So we're going to do purple or violet in this one. So one, two, three. And we'll do a fourth one. And we're going to do our blue in the middle one. One. Two, and then our final color of turquoise. One. Two. This one's not as pigmented, so I'm going to do an extra drop of that. The blue was pretty pigmented. And of course, it does stain, so. If you needed to, I would say wear gloves. So to make it a little bit easier on myself, I'm just gonna kinda mix things around with the handle of our, all right. Just rinse the handle off with the water. And then that's for that one. Mix around, so we'll try it with the sponge this time. You see the sponge end. So if you can tell, it's kind of clumping up. All 
right, that's been mixed, and then we're going to mix this one. Definitely a lighter. So this is the turquoise. It's kind of a lightish, bluish green. We have our blue, and we have our purple. So the, pretty much the aim of this is you just pull it up the sides of the jar and then let it dry. And you continue to like monitor it and make sure that there's not a bunch of bubbles and Okay, so I'm going to set the other two aside so I can work in the center with this one. I'm going to pull it up the sides. But as you notice, this part is, there's like a, some purple that's concentrated, but if up there I see it's like a very light purplish color. Now I know traditional sea glass, you aren't really going to find black, or I'm sorry, you're not going to find purple sea glass. But I knew that a clear sea glass, like the clear hazy sea glass, wouldn't look as pretty. And I wanted these to be a set, like a green, a purple, a blue, and then like the turquoise. So I'm gonna pull this up the sides of our jar. Alright, we're gonna set that one aside while we work on the blue. And then our final one, the turquoise color. Okay, so these don't look much like anything right now, because there's still a lot of bubbles and everything. But once they're dry and you've made sure most of the bubbles are popped, they will eventually look like this, but they'll be more hazy and they'll be like a slightly greener opaque like greener there'll be the green tint but it'll have like that hazy look of uh sea glass so these have to eventually you know like i have to, I have to keep spreading them up the sides and mill out and then allow them to dry and just keep checking on them to make sure that there aren't a bunch of pockets of bubbles like i'm i am seeing a bunch of pockets of like little bubbly areas because of the so the, you know, the water and the glue mixed together with the food coloring. Now, once these are all dry and you have your set of four, one kind of, one interesting idea would be to get like a, not like to get a very thick twine, almost like the, to give it a more of a nautical theme, to get the thick twine that you would wrap around the, um, the top part so that it would have like that sort of like nautical uh fisherman's like fisherman's uh like a like a knot like a fisherman's knot or some type of like um different like sailor's knot or something towards the top to give it a bit more of a nautical vibe you could also um if you wrapped yarn around the outside, you, or wrapped the twine around the outside, you could also attach a seashell to it to add to that vibe. So once they're dry, you can get, you can use them as a base to make a bit more of a nautical theme. Hi everyone, so that was how to make sea glass mason jars. I hope um, that it inspired you to make your own sea glass mason jars, and I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone!